time, that mystical measure of the difference between then and now, has its way with houses. In 1833, this was the pioneer home of William Warnick, the first sheriff of Macon County. But through the years, a man's fancy changes. He adds clapboard to cover 14-inch thick log walls, and he adds a porch and dormers. So that today, the Warnick House stands as the oldest house in Macon County. The Warnick Homestead grew from 40 acres in 1824 to twice its size, 80 acres, 10 years later, a tract of land south of the Sangamon River in what has now become Macon County. Warnick's great-great-granddaughter, Mrs. Hazel Weatherford, described the house and the changes which have taken place in the 132 years since it was built. The original four log rooms are still there, and that was the way it was at that time. And then as it, from generation to generation, it has been, oh, what you'd say, remodeled, and the weatherboarding put on, and it's been plastered. But on the inside, the plastering is off, and you can see the log rooms. There's four of them, pretty good-sized rooms. The house is less than three miles from the home in which Abraham Lincoln lived with his family for a year before moving on to New Salem near Springfield. During that time, he became friends with the sheriff and received his first exposure to the law while reading in Warnick's extensive collection of law books. The home also played an important part in the development of early Illinois. The old Terre Haute Springfield Road, which connected the Cumberland Pike to East Central Illinois, passed in front of this house. The John Echo family, which obtained the house from Warnick after a lawsuit, converted part of it into a tavern to serve the westward tide of emigration. Known as the 33-mile house because it was 33 miles from Springfield, the tavern offered food, drink, and overnight lodging to early Illinois travelers and served them well till the mid-1850s when the railroads drew off much of the road's traffic. Since then, additions have been constructed and the house has been home to a stream of families. It was occupied until only a few years ago. Although it's changed greatly in outward appearance since the first rough-hewn beams were laid on large stones and the first mud and limestone mortar was chinked between the log walls, the spirit of early Illinois is still present in the Warnick House. Now there is renewed hope the house may be restored to serve as a tribute to the early settlers of central Illinois. This is Mike Jackson.